Before you harvest your next crop, stop. This is the level farmers around the world are operating at. No gimmicks, just precision, speed, and results that will make you question everything you thought you knew about agriculture. In these massive fields, machines sweep through in seconds, collecting tons of fruits and vegetables in a single pass. And behind every movement? Planning, years of knowledge, generations of refinement, technology tuned to perfection. It all begins with the land. What looks like an ordinary field is actually a carefully calculated environment. Soil is tested for nutrients. Moisture is tracked in real time. Seed placement is guided by GPS. Every square meter is measured. Nothing is random. Then come the seeds, selected for yield, disease resistance, and shelf life. Some are hybrids developed over decades. Others are traditional varieties adapted for local resilience. What matters is output, clean, consistent, and market ready. As the growing season begins, automation takes over. Drones fly overhead, scanning for crop stress, pests, and nutrient deficiencies. Irrigation is no longer guesswork. Drip lines feed water directly to the roots. Moisture sensors shut off flow the moment saturation is reached. Inputs are monitored down to the gram. Now the crops are ready. It's time to harvest. And this is where the real show begins. Massive machines enter the fields. They're designed for speed, but tuned for delicacy. Each one can harvest dozens of rows in a single pass without damaging the produce. Inside the cab, operators don't just drive. They manage dozens of real-time variables. Blade depth, conveyor speed, terrain compensation. Everything is monitored on digital screens. They adjust settings on the fly because one mistake means waste. A crushed tomato, a bruised mango, a disqualified export. There's no room for error. Crates fill up in minutes. Forklifts arrive to swap full bins with empty ones. And while that's happening in the background, another crew is already preparing the next row. Harvest doesn't pause, not even for a second. Once the produce leaves the field, it's immediately moved to the packing shed. Inside, speed increases, but so does precision. Conveyor belts carry produce under optical scanners. Defects are automatically detected. Color variation, shape deformities, size mismatches. Rejected items are sent off the line. The rest are sorted, graded, and packed in standardized units. Whether it's avocados, bell peppers, or strawberries, the end result is the same. Market-ready packaging that meets exacting standards. But even here, humans are essential. Train staff inspect every tray. They spot the things machines miss. Surface blemishes, tiny punctures, soft spots that might not be visible to a camera. Their hands move fast, but their eyes are faster. Nothing gets past them. And then the cold chain begins. Freshness isn't just a promise, it's science. Hydrocooling plunges freshly picked vegetables into chilled water. Vacuum cooling pulls heat from delicate greens. Refrigerated tunnels blast produce with air to reduce field temperature within minutes. From this point on, everything is kept at optimal temperature to lock in freshness, reduce spoilage, and maintain nutritional value. Storage isn't just cold, it's controlled. Humidity, oxygen, and CO2 levels are adjusted to slow down ripening. That's how these farms ship tomatoes across oceans without them turning mushy, or export berries that still taste farm fresh after a week on the road. Each facility is a logistics hub. Pallets are tracked with barcodes and RFID tags, Managers can trace every box back to the farm, the date it was harvested, and the crew that packed it. This isn't just about transparency. It's about confidence. Buyers want to know where their food comes from. These farms can tell you, down to the GPS location of the field. While that's happening, another crew is already moving the next batch of produce onto transport trucks. Time is critical. The goal is to move from field to cold storage to market in less than 24 hours. But none of this happens by accident. At the center of every farm is a control room. Computers monitor weather forecasts. Predictive models schedule irrigation, pest control, and labor shifts. AI software predicts peak harvest days to deploy machines more efficiently. These are smart farms, built to run with maximum yield and minimum loss. Zero waste is more than a goal. It's a built-in system. Leaves, stems, and trimmings are collected and sent to composting units. Some farms convert this biomass into fuel or organic fertilizer. Others feed it to livestock. Nothing goes to landfill. Even water is recycled. Wash water from packing sheds is filtered, treated, and reused for irrigation. Sediment is separated. Nutrients are returned to the field. Everything circulates. That's how these farms stay profitable, even under rising input costs and environmental pressure. And while much of this is driven by machines, it's the workers who make it all happen. In the field, harvest teams move with urgency. They know which rows are ready, which ones aren't. 
They harvest by hand when needed, quick, clean cuts that preserve the crop's value. In the sheds, their hands fly over the belts, sorting, trimming, packing. Years of experience condensed into split-second decisions. Back in the offices, farm managers juggle logistics, trade schedules, export standards, and compliance with food safety regulations that change weekly. They run this like a factory, but with more variables than most manufacturing plants could handle. Each day, they ship tons of produce. Each night, they prep for the next round. Crops don't wait, weather doesn't pause, and the market never slows down. It's a cycle of nonstop motion, but it's also a system of balance between nature and technology, people and process, old wisdom and new precision. This is how the most successful harvests are done. And when you see a box of mangoes or a tray of strawberries, or a bag of pre-cut lettuce in your local store, remember this, it didn't just appear. It came from somewhere where people are working 16 hours a day, where machines never stop, where the goal is not just to feed, but to feed well, feed fast, and feed the world. This is modern agriculture. This is real food. This is the harvest at full scale, and it's only just beginning.